What's up guys, Harris Autographs back here with another video. Today I'm going to try to incorporate all the autographs I've gotten this week to sort of just save time. So I got two TTMs, one Instagram giveaway win, and then an IP recap of the Charlotte 49ers, a college football team who came to play Old Dominion. That was the last game of ODU season since they won one game by three against a FCS team. So yeah, their coach got fired. <laughs> So hopefully ODU will have a better season next year. But first up, I'm going to show you the two TTMs I got. First, coming back in about three months, projected, I believe, second round, maybe late first round pick from Mississippi State. We have Cam Dantzler, signed two of two. Really solid cornerback at Mississippi State. I don't know if any of you guys saw the Egg Bowl on Thursday, but that was definitely a very interesting game to say the least. And then my other TTM came back in about two weeks. A guy I've never gotten in person, but I've gotten through the mail twice and just barely missed out on in person because he got called up. We have Philly's player slash prospect. I think he's more of a regular now. We have Adam Hazley. This one got a little bubbled up, as you can see on the pro debut. But the heritage turned out really nice. I've got him before on a... 2018 Bowman draft and on Instagram there was this giveaway a few months ago from a account that is a uh, RTTS memorabilia who does private signings with some minor league prospects and I want a giveaway to win this autograph card of Marco Luciano and it finally came in it's really cool to get this since the guy is like four months older than me and he's already making waves in the minors. I think he'll be a solid player someday. He's only 20, not 20. He's only 18, I believe, which is just weird to say to me, honestly. But yeah, I think he's going to be a really good player someday, and hopefully he'll be able to work his way up to Richmond, and I could possibly see him if I go there, which I plan to do at least once or twice this year to get Joey Bart and uh, Heliato Ramos. So anyway, I have a recap now of the Charlotte 49ers. I got three autographs. First up, I got the head coach, former head coach of Austin PA University and now Charlotte, Will Healy. Super nice guy. I didn't realize how young he was. Like I thought that was like an equipment manager or a student assistant, but for a 35-year-old, he's already made some big moves in college football as a head coach of two programs and bringing them back to relevance. In my opinion, he sort of gives off a, a Christian youth minister vibe in the team because he has all these like parties and tries to appeal to like the younger generation, but I think he's got a really bright future. Second up, we got draft prospect from the Charlotte 49ers. He is a running back. It's Benny LeMay, who I believe is projected to go in the fifth round, according to some mock drafts I've seen. Pretty solid running back for them. And then the main one I got I was excited about he was named a third-team All-American today by Pro Football Focus. He was second in the nation at sacks behind Chase Young, who is just the absolute beast. No one was catching Chase Young this year. In my opinion, he's going to be the best player in this draft by far. But the guy I got to was Alex Highsmith. Super nice guy. I took a picture with him, talked to him for a minute. I was waiting for him to be done talking to his family because you don't want to interrupt people when you're talking to their family. But then he waved me over, shook my hand, signed my picture, and I got a picture with him. So just a super nice guy. Wish him the best of luck in the future. What if I'd see him go to Dallas now? The way Dallas has been playing, they need anyone they can get. So that's my recap. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll have some stuff next week. If not, I'll see you guys whenever I get stuff in. Peace out.